So it's going to ask us to take a tour of Windows. We've done this a couple of times, so I'm going to not take that tour of Windows. And I'm going to take a look around the computer, though. It tells me my network connection is not connected. We know that. Well, for one, because we don't see anything else connected to the computer, but also I haven't connected the network to it. We've got the typical Windows icons up here. Our recycle bin, Internet Explorer, Box.net, we'll delete that. Dell support, we'll delete that. And Windows Media, we'll delete all that. And I'll do that by clicking the left mouse button, scrolling over the items I don't want, right click on the highlighted item, and then choose delete from the drop down menu. When it asks me if I'm sure, I'm going to say spacebar, which is the same as saying yes. So now I've deleted some extra garbage off the desktop, and I don't know what I was thinking, but I'll go ahead and get rid of Internet Explorer also. Delete. Are you sure you want to delete the icon? You bet. And recycle bin. You know what? Well, let's just move it over here. I really don't like looking at it. Right now it seems like my icons are set to a grid or something, so I'm going to go to my arrange icons by and I'm going to say align to grid. I'm going to get rid of that. And I'm going to see what this search desktop is. I don't really need that, so I'm going to right click toolbars Windows search desk bar. I have no idea what that is, so getting rid of it by unclicking it and you notice that that disappeared from the taskbar. There's an awful lot of garbage down here. Let's take a look at what we got. We got the clock on the right. I'm fine with that. Click here to activate your Norton product and stay protected. We'll have a video on how to remove the Norton product because that's not something I'm going to use. Next to it is the Dell touchpad, which is what I'm using to control the cursor, so I'll leave that. The power AC, that's an indicator to let us know we're connected to power. A Bluetooth and wireless LAN icon speaker icon next to it is a webcam central there's a webcam on this computer right here next to that is a local area network next to that is the wireless network next to that is the HD audio manager next to that is a Bluetooth and last is indexing complete you know I'm not sure what indexing complete is so snooze indexing I don't know what that means I'm gonna right click on that and choose exit and it went away so that sounds like an item that might be told to start up when the computer starts up and that's not something I'm interested in so I'll tell it to stop that now we've noticed that I turned off the the uh, grid function of the desktop icons which means I can take this recycle bin icon and cram it down and I like to cram it down so far that the recycle bin words are below the, the toolbar there because I don't care what that I know what that is I don't need to see it I'm going to go to the properties of the toolbar next and I like to auto hide the toolbar I like to keep the toolbar on top of other windows I don't care about group similar taskbar buttons uh, the show the quick launch. I'm okay with the quick launch. That's going to give me a little bit of room over here, and that's where I keep my browsers normally. Show the clock, hide inactive. All that is fine for me, so I'm going to click apply. But I'm not quite done. I want to go to start menu, and I want to go to the classic start menu. Um, I want my start menu to look like Windows 98. So. Windows 2000. I don't like this new stuff so that's all fine for me. Makes it a little easier. When it's on the classic start menu it's it's double sided like this little preview window shows and I'm just not used to it and I don't like taking up that much of my screen. I don't like having to scroll so far. So I'm going to go to my classic menu which gives me a simple pop-up menu just on the left side and I'll say apply to that. Next I'm going to go to customize and I'm going to show the run. I'm, I'm, I use the run menu, so I need that. I, I'm not going to display favorites. I'm not going to display administrative tools. I am going to enable dragging and dropping. I'm going to expand the control panel, which means that when I go down here and click on it, um, it the, the control panel will open up in a hierarchical way, so I don't have to open it separately. 
I want to expand my documents the same. Well, I don't care about my documents, excuse me. Uh, if I use those, I would use it. But I do want to expand network connections that way, and I want to expand printers that way. Uh, I don't care about scrolling programs. I do want to show small icons in Start Menu uh, as opposed to large icons. And for now, that's enough customization. I will go in and customize it a bit more later. And now you'll see that it's a much simpler window here, or excuse me, a much simpler menu here uh, than it would be. Um, I've got my network and my computer here. That's great but I'd much rather have them in this menu. So I'm going to highlight both of these. I'm going to try highlighting both of these. Click them, bring them down, and I'm just going to drop them on the start bar. And you see that they created my computer and my network places. And because I told them to expand, I don't need to click on them. I can just keep scrolling through um, my hard drive and whatnot real easily. Once I've done that, I don't need these icons on the desktop. To me, they, they're clutter. So I'm going to go ahead, actually, I don't know any of these, so I'm going to highlight them all. Right click on the highlighted ones and choose delete. It'll say, do you want to delete the icons? You can restore them later. And it's telling me because of what they are, I can't delete them, but I can remove them from the desktop, and that's what I did. So now I've got a much cleaner desktop, what I appreciate for a desktop.